Throughout the 1920s and 1930s, barnstorming, or as it was more colloquially known, doing crazy things with aeroplanes, was practiced in many places worldwide, but particularly in the United States. New Zealand's own Cheryl Butterworth is a veteran practitioner of the art of wing walking, and this year she reintroduced this activity to a new generation of air show visitors. Cheryl, or Rusty as she's more commonly known, began wing walking on a de Havilland Tiger Moth aircraft in 1986 with pilot Tony Renouf at the controls. Over the next nine years, this duo performed at many air shows throughout New Zealand. The highlight of their career together was breaking the world record for wing walking, which they achieved on the 4th of March 1990 with a flight of three hours and eight minutes. Rusty's last performance with Tony was at the Hamilton Air Show in 1995. Shortly after this, the frame that was used on top of the Tiger Moth was lost, and this put paid to any further flights. The lack of a suitable frame, and subsequently Tony's death, sadly ended the duo's act, until this year. After a 12-year break, the team at Classic Fighters suggested to Rusty that a new wing-walking frame should and could be built, and that she should resurrect the act at least one more time. Sponsors were found, a new frame was built, and a new pilot, Graham Woods, took on the challenge of flinging Rusty up and down the crowd line one more time. Although not many 57-year-olds would be too keen to be strapped to the top of an aircraft in flight, Rusty's a mere spring chicken compared with another Kiwi wingwalker. Yes, the world's oldest wingwalker is New Zealander Hilda Alexander, who made her record-breaking flight over Christchurch when she was a sprightly 78 years old. Good on you, Hilda. <laughs>